We're asked to determine which of the following functions are solutions of the differential equation, the second derivative of y with respect to x minus y equals zero. So we're given five functions and we'll find the second derivatives of each function, then perform substitution to see if this difference equals zero. So our first function is y equals e to the x and therefore dy dx or y prime would also be equal to e to the x and therefore y double prime or the second derivative of y with respect to x would also be e to the x. So now we'll perform substitution into the differential equation. We'll substitute e to the x for the second derivative of y with respect to x and we'll substitute e to the x for y. So this would give us e to the x minus e to the x which does equal zero and therefore our function y equals e to the x is a solution to the differential equation. Next we have y equals zero and therefore y prime also equals zero and therefore y double prime is also zero. So again we'll substitute zero for the second derivative of y and we'll substitute zero for y as well. And since zero minus zero does equal zero, y equals zero is a solution to the differential equation. Next we have y equals sine x and therefore the first derivative or y prime or dy dx equals cosine x and therefore the second derivative which is the derivative of the derivative would be equal to negative sine x. So once again we'll sub negative sine x for our second derivative and we'll substitute sine x for y. So we'd have negative sine x and then minus sine x well this is equal to negative two sine x which does not equal zero and therefore y equals sine x is not a solution to the differential equation. Next we have y equals negative cosine x and therefore the first derivative y prime is equal to the opposite of the derivative of cosine x which would be the opposite of negative sine x or just sine x and therefore the second derivative of y would be the derivative of sine x which is cosine x. So now we'll substitute cosine x for our second derivative and negative cosine x for y. So this would give us cosine x and then minus negative cosine x which becomes plus cosine x or two cosine x which once again which does not equal zero and therefore y equals negative cosine x is not a solution of our differential equation. And now our last function is y equals four times e to the power of negative x. Notice how because the exponent is negative x we will have to perform the chain rule given here in our derivative rule. So the first derivative y prime or dy dx is equal to four times the derivative of e to the power of negative x which should be e to the power of negative x times the derivative of negative x which is negative one. So four times e to the power of negative x times negative one would be negative four e to the negative x. And therefore the second derivative y double prime is equal to negative four times the derivative of e to the power of negative x which would be negative four times e to the negative x times negative one or positive four e to the negative x. So now we'll substitute four e to the negative x for our second derivative function and four e to the negative x for y. So we would have four e to the negative x minus four e to the negative x which does equal zero and therefore y equals four e to the negative x is a solution to our differential equation. I hope you found this helpful.